Okay, we've got the jack plate mounted and part of the process down at the jack plate end is to get the Talon and the Humber 360 mounts on. We're going to use the jack plate mount um, Minn Kota bracket, um, which is 606140 part number. Um, we'll just take a look at what this comes with. So this is the centre section and this is universal so you can mount this on the port or starboard side of the boat. So that's the centre section, you can see it's all notched out in here and that, those notches enable us to really customise how we want to set it up. Obviously we get the bolts, everything in the back of there. Um, this is the section that mounts to the jack plate, so that'll mount onto the side of the jack plate. And you can see that's notched out as well. So the way that it basically works is you set whichever angle you need to suit your boat. And that just goes in like that and bolts up. And then the second part to that, this is the part that um, bolts to the talon or the 360. And that just goes in and again you can just set that however you like, drop it in, bolt it up and you're done. So it's a very strong, you can see it's very highly engineered. So it's got the uh, obviously the strength to take the towel on and all the forces that come with the towel on. Um, so it's a little over engineered probably for the 3 transducer, but it's certainly nice and rock solid and um, we'll have no dramas in the future with that. So we'll go ahead and get those installed on the jack plate now. Okay, so we've got the um, jack plate mounts on for the towel on. Um, we're going to put the 360 on this side, talon on this side. Um, and we actually had to use a spacer block, which is part number 606164, um, just to get that space here. So just check if you, if you can't bolt it straight onto your jack plate, you may need the spacer kit, which is fairly easy to fit. And then it's just a matter of um, getting your angles right to suit your boat. So if your transom comes out a bit further, um, you just have to increase the angle of this part and then you just square that off. So um, they go together fairly easily. Um, you just get that in there and the bolt just through. So you can do a quick little mock up to see if it's straight. That's not quite straight. So we just need to bring that out one notch, slide it back in and we've got that um, now straight to the transom. Um, one of the tips with your bolts and your nylock nuts, it comes with a little tube, uh, white tube in the packet. So you just put a little bit of that, this grease on the actual bolt and that just stops the nylock nut from binding up. So it's important to just add a bit of that. The last thing you want to do is button up a nylock that you can't get undone again. So we're happy with the configuration here. You can see we've got the port and starboard side mocked up. Like I said, we'll put Talon on the port side, 360 transducer on the starboard side, um, and we're ready to go. So we'll finish off bolting these up, and then we can move on to the next step. tilt bracket part number 606162 um, and obviously we're using the jack plate mount um, nice and strong and that's why it has to be strong for the talon not so much for the 360 but the talon obviously is going to go through a bit of uh, force when it's holding the boat in place in shallow water uh, this one's a 12 footer um, also available is 15 footer um, all the way down to a little 8 footer which will be good for smaller boats and things like that so We've basically got to get you this bolted up to the tilt bracket and then onto here and then we'll go ahead and set our heights um, and then all we have to do is run our cables. Now we want to be able to remove this talon so we're actually going to use a talon plug um, and we'll go through the, the transom here with the scan strut. So we'll get this um, mounted up now and um, move on. Okay so we've got the talon bracket mounted up, we've got it on the tilt. Um, and then it's just a matter of getting your levels right. So we have to do this before we put the talon on. 
um, and that's just getting this lower bolt hole around and probably the easiest way is to make sure your boat's as level as you think it's going to be on the water and then just undo that bolt and it'll literally swing and find its own level and then just line up with the nearest hole and button it up. So then we leave these fairly loose so that we can slide the talon down through these channels. So if you come in a bit closer and have a look here, um, you'll see we've just got to make sure we've got a gap here. So when you pick your talon up, um, it'll slide in down those tracks and then we button it up and we're done. Um, the other thing to look at on the talon just here is your height nut. So this sets the height, so it's a good idea to just make sure that that's tightened up and roughly in the height you think it's going to be. So when you drop it on, you can just leave that um, where it is and you don't have to sort of hold onto the talon to get the nuts done up. This one's going to hold it in its, in its height place. So um, we'll get that slotted in and buttoned up. Okay, so we've got the talon into the track and uh, it's just time to set the height now. So again, just with a straight edge, um, we just want to put the straight edge on the hull and then just ensure we've got enough gap. So if you can picture us up on the plane, the water's obviously going to come off here and start to rise. So I'm pretty confident we'll be very clear of the talon. You certainly don't want the talon in the water when you're travelling at high speed. It'll create a lot of um, pressure against it. So um, we're about 200 up from the uh, bottom of the hull, so that should be fine. So we'll get that tightened up now. So the final piece of the tilt kit is actually a little stand and that's designed for when you tilt the talon over, um, it can just sit on the deck somewhere so it's not, the talon itself isn't bashing on your deck. So um, we've sort of tilted that over and worked out where it's got to go. Normally this can be mounted at the top either side and it actually just swivels which we'll show you in a second. Um, but that's not going to work for us, so it's going to have to go on the bottom side, um, which means we've just got to slide the talon off, um, get that one through, put the talon back on, so no big deal, but we'll get that installed now and, um, and just show you how exactly that works. Okay, the last step is with the motor support bracket is just to set the height that we need. So what we do is just tilt it over. You can see we've chosen to have it fall onto this little back deck here. And that's not quite right, so we just probably need to go to the next notch here. So it's just a matter of um, loosening this screw out, which I've done a little bit. And we just move it to the, where the next notch will be. Somewhere here. And just tighten that back up. Once that's tightened up, um, a lot of guys just leave this hanging out and I see it all the time. Um, but once it's tightened up, you've got your height, so just, just cut it off there so it's a nice neat finish. And then it's just a matter of when it's stowed, it just goes like that. This is part of the kit and that just goes in there so it's nice and solid, it's not rattling around at all. And then when you need to tilt your talon, just bring that out. It's all just sprung loaded in there and we can tilt it. So we'll just try it at that height and we should be good to go. So that's a good height there. So we'll leave it at that, get it buttoned up, move on to the next project.